Welcome to our Advanced Placement Psychology series. In this video, we'll dive into Unit 1, Part 4, focusing on the structures and functions of the brain. Understanding the brain's anatomy and its roles is crucial for grasping how our biological systems influence our physical and mental actions and responses. Throughout the video, we'll use engaging graphics to visualize these concepts, ensuring you grasp the definitions and their implications clearly. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the brain's structures and functions, setting a strong foundation for your AP Psychology course. Let's start by exploring how the brain's structures apply to behavior and mental processes. We'll break down complex concepts with clear examples and engaging graphics. The brain stem is the oldest part of the brain, responsible for automatic survival functions. It includes the medulla oblongata, which controls heartbeat and breathing, and the reticular activating system, which regulates arousal and alertness. The cerebellum is crucial for coordinating voluntary movements and balance. It's involved in activities like walking, playing sports, and fine motor skills. The cerebral cortex is the brain's outer layer, involved in complex functions such as thinking, perceiving, and speaking. Let's explore the different lobes of the cerebral cortex. The frontal lobe is involved in decision-making, problem-solving, and planning. The parietal lobe processes sensory information like touch and spatial orientation. The occipital lobe is responsible for visual processing. The temporal lobe is important for hearing, memory, and speech. Split brain research involves the corpus callosum and helps us understand the lateralization of brain functions and how the two hemispheres communicate. Areas of the brain that affect language include Broca's area, responsible for speech production, and Wernicke's area, responsible for language comprehension. Different areas of the cortex are specialized for various functions, such as the motor cortex and the somatosensory cortex. Brain plasticity, or neuroplasticity, is the brain's ability to adapt and reorganize itself. This allows the brain to change in response to learning and injury. Various methods are used to study the brain, including EEG, MEG, MRI, fMRI, CT, lesions, and surgical procedures. Each technique offers unique insights into brain structures and functions. In this section, we explored how the brain structures apply to behavior and mental processes. We covered the brain stem, cerebellum, cerebral cortex, split brain research, language areas, cortex specialization, brain plasticity, and various brain research methods. Understanding these structures and functions is crucial for comprehending how our biological systems influence our physical and mental actions and responses. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has enhanced your understanding of the brain's structures and functions. Stay tuned for more videos in our AP Psychology series.